Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quick practice with multiple choice questions. This may help you in entrance examination and also for excellent jobs. The question here is, Peter has $300 in his savings account and plans to save $20 every two weeks from his paycheck. Anna has only $180 in her account, but can save $35 every two weeks from her paycheck. After how many months will they have the same amount in their bank account? Four choices are 2, 4, 6 and 8 months. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Right. Now, when you solve such questions, you have to look into units very carefully. So we are saying that saving $20 every two weeks, right? So savings are being done every two weeks and the answer is in months, correct? That is important to understand. Okay, so what we can do here is we can write down the equations. So for Peter's earnings, let's say, earnings of Peter, let me say EP for Peter, Peter already has $300 and what he wants to do, save 20 every two weeks, so bi-weekly, right, so 20, I am writing B, so where B is bi-weekly, right, so I say bi-weekly, so that means every two weeks. So that is how I'm defining by my variable B, right? And as far as Anna is concerned, EA, she has $180 and is ready to say, save 35 bi-weekly. So that is what we get. So, so we, those are the equations. After how many months will they have the same amount, right? So that means we are looking for EP equal to EA. That is what we are looking for. Straightforward, right? So you could rewrite this as 300 plus 20B equal to 180 plus 35B. Correct? Bring constants on one side and the variables on the other side. So, so now we can take away so from 12, uh, from 10, if you take away 8, you get 2. And then from 2, when you take away 1, you get 1. 120. On this side, you get 15B, right? So number of bi-weekly, 2 weeks we are talking about, will be 120 divided by 15. Now this question could be without calculator, correct? That is kind of important to understand. So if it is without calculator, you may do this calculation. You can divide by 5 straightforward. So we get 3 here and 5 times 2 is 10 and 24. And then again, when you divide, you get 8 over 1. So 8 bi-weeklies, do you understand? So 8 bi-weeklies means what? So we get B equals to 8, right? So number of weeks will be? Number of weeks will be 8 times 2 and number of months will be 4, right? So try to understand. So there are two week, there are two by weeks in, in a month. So the answer is 4 months, right? So that could be tricky at times even when you get your answer. Remember 8, 2 weeks. Do you understand? So, so that means 16 in all, we are talking about weeks. And when you divide this 16 by 4, you get 4 months, correct? So uh, anyway, it should work out. But it's kind of important to keep in mind that the question involves different units. And that should not make a difference to your, uh, to your getting the right answer. I hope that helps. Feel free to share my videos. And if you like and subscribe to them, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.